Hello everyone, today we are back with a slightly different video than we would normally upload. Um, we tend to dabble and delve right into the horror genre here, but however, today we're going to try out Control. Now Control caught my eye because I've been hearing a lot about how it's like SCP, um, and the closest to an SCP game we're ever really going to get. Doesn't mean that the Unity remake doesn't count. Of course that counts. Um, but obviously this one's slightly different and it's obviously a third person shooter and it's done by Remedy. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with Remedy, part of Rockstar, um, and obviously you know they're, they're synonymous with the Alan Wake series, which again is a very, very good narrative, story driven horror game. Really recommend you check that one out if you haven't seen that. But anyway, I digress. So Control is an action adventure video game, as I said, developed by Remedy, and it takes place around the Federal Bureau of Control. Now, this is a top secret US government facility, of course it is, uh, which is basically tasked with containing and studying phenomena that basically goes against and violates the laws of reality. Now, us as an agent, obviously, we have been roped into um, some, let's just say, some rather freaky things that have escaped, and we are the the new director of the Federal Bureau of Control, and uh, we need to set some things straight. So why don't we get straight into the video and see how far we get. Enjoy part one. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, 
Sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You will work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no elevator. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hollow. I've done enough night shift loader jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. cell and the poster i was 11 years old the first time i saw behind the poster they told me i imagined it i've been trying to pull it down ever since will you help
Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. outside. Results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs>
hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow the simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered items or objects of power to the nearest location. Three, wait for the room to push the thing up.
to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone, not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, 
I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. And this brings us to the end of part one of Control. Now this video is slightly shorter than I would like it to be. Uh, the reason for that is we are very busy with obviously Gears 5, this, Blair Witch, and another playthrough of Man of Medan. So please stay tuned, ring that notification bell, and as soon as part two of Control is up, we will let you know. But for now, this has been Aaron from the Brothers Grimm. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.